I am the right height for an Asian, I promise you. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Mazanx here and I have been gone for a while, but it's okay, it's okay. I, do, I shouldn't start videos like that because it makes me look really unreliable on YouTube, which I am. But I am back today and I wanted to show you guys a Yestel try and haul because I absolutely love their stuff. They have some of the coolest pieces of item because they are based in Asia. They have very like K-pop sort of like Korean streetwear, sort of like Asian styling, which I I'm so about with the TikTok fashion, these type of styles have come back around again and it's quite nice to be able to get it from your style because it's so cheap. They were so nice to kindly give me 500 pounds worth of clothing to try out. This is no way a sponsored video. This is just a gifted video. I actually filmed this video before and I just wasn't happy with the quality. Oh my God, talking way too much. So I'm gonna try not to speak too much in this one. I so much. Right now I am midway through transforming my closet. I still need to wait for some items to arrive so as soon as that's done that'll be up. I love doing transformation videos. Okay I never know what to wear for a try and haul so I think I just decided I'm just gonna wear one of the pieces. I'm gonna start off with one of the pieces that I am absolutely in love with which is this crop top. Top. It has a little bow detail here. It's got this elastic around here so it just keeps everything nice and together. It's also like double layered the fabric so you don't have to worry about having to wear a bra underneath it's just so nice it's really supportive i absolutely love these bands i think it's just so flattering it's definitely one of my favorite pieces that i picked out from here another thing that i picked out was this necklace as well they do have some like really cool jewelry pieces as well on the website for this particular top it goes with a lot of things you can wear it with jeans skirts by itself if you really wish to but i wouldn't what i really like wearing it with is this skirt i just think it's so cute and it looks so nice together it has got a zip on the side and all their skirts are like um squats on the un underneath you're worried that your your butt is on show it won't be on show because it has shorts on the inside and i just love it i think the fabric's really nice but yeah this skirt looks so amazing with this top i'm just just so happy with the way it looks. I think it's just so cute. Nothing's badly sewn together as well, which I'm pretty impressed because I know a lot of like fast fashion, sometimes the stuff can be a bit like dodgy and especially because it's so cheap, like your style is a lot cheaper. But the only issue with it is because it's a uh, Asian fashion brand, a lot of Asians are short. So all these jeans and stuff, they all come to my perfect length because I am the right height for an Asian, I promise you. And and they don't do size 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, no. They don't do size 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 and 16 like they do in the UK or in America. They just have small, medium, large or one size pieces. So all my outfits I got mainly in a small. It, I think it correlates around like size 6, size 8 and I'm around the middle of size 6 and 8 most of the time. It's so if you guys are short, petite people, this is amazing for you. I think you guys can also get away with it if you're slightly taller and stuff like that but I, I would just kind of stay away from jeans unless you want them to be extra short on your ankles. So the next skirt that I could also wear with this top is this really long skirt black and white pattern but it's like I think there's little leaf prints. I just love this. I think this is a one size. What I liked about this is because it's got a nice band on it and sometimes when the band is too tight it's really uncomfortable. So because this has got quite a lot of band on it and it's meant to be one size it's actually it fits on me. It's not loose it fits on me but it's not really tight that I'm uncomfortable in it as well they've sewn it in a way that it gives it a lot of like flair on the skirt which is really nice makes this fabric feel more expensive when there's a lot more like flair I don't know okay I don't know what I'm saying just ignore me another piece that I would add on top of that skirt would be this jumpo this is one of my favorite cardigans that I got from there it is so pretty it has like the cutest little pearl detail on it and it's got this like little ruffles on the arms and I just love the pattern of this it's just so pretty it just looks so nice it's like a grandma cardigan but made cool if that makes sense I will wear this 
this from now on till I become a grandma. I, I could get away with it. I could share this with my grandma. Yeah, quite like jumpers that are quite low necked and I can have it off the shoulder. I think that looks the most flattering on me because I don't have the longest neck. And if I have jumpers that are quite high neck, I can look very much like this. So I like our open neck as much as possible. So I like that about it and I like the fact that it's got buttons so I can wear it open if I want to, but I don't think it looks that nice open. So the next outfit that I would put together with this is with these jeans. These jeans are so nice. I absolutely love the color of this. And one thing that was actually quite weird about all their jeans, all of these holes on the button, you had to like cut it yourself. None of them came cut, which was really strange. I don't know, maybe it's cause like some people are skinnier and they need to make it tighter so they need to cut it. I don't know what the reason was for it, but I just thought that was really strange. Maybe it's cause it's like a budget fabric thing. Quite a light, it's not the lightest jeans, but it's a lightish jean and Oh my god. Sorry guys. So I really like it. It's a high waist jeans. It sort of flares out, but it doesn't flare out too much. It's like, it's a kind of a straight cut, but it's like a slightly flared out straight cut. I'm sure there's a name for this type of jeans, but I've never owned a pair of jeans that look like this with this color. And oh my gosh, when I speak about like the length of these items for me, it's such a blessing. Because every time I buy clothes from UK brands, like the crotch always hangs down so low and I'm like, I always have to roll jeans up most of the time. Like sometimes it looks cool to have like a low crotch hanging jeans, but not always. Sometimes you want something a bit more like put together and like it was made for you, yeah? This piece I don't really have an outfit for. I also picked up this cardigan. This is just a basic cardigan. I don't know if I love it or hate it yet. I think it's just one of those pieces that you think you need, but then you get it and then you're just like, mm, meh. It's just one of those pieces. I feel like I would definitely wear this at home. I would definitely say it's more of a lounge piece for me because I do get chilly quite often and I always have something on me because I am just a cold, cold human being. But apart from that, it's just a basic cardigan that you get from anywhere. But I was pretty amazed at the quality of it. I think it feels quite decent. It hasn't bobbled, but I haven't really worn it, so I can't speak on that. But I don't have too much to say about this. This is just a basic cardigan. I don't even need to say that. The next item is this white fleece jumper. It is a very basic fleece jumper. It has like a really random logo on it, which I'm not mad about because I think it looks really cool and like vintage. It gives it that like, nobody knows what this brand is, so it doesn't matter what I'm wearing. It could be really expensive kind of vibe. Um, It's got like a little um elastic. Why am I struggling to speak? I swear I don't know how to speak but um this if you think this is bad the other video was way worse okay that's all I'm saying this has elastic around the arm which I like but it doesn't actually have elastic down here which I'm I wish it did I guess I could always add the elastic later I kind of like fleeces with that elastic I think it just keeps it looking quite cool and quite nice it's got a zip and it's got like it's a high neck or like a low neck if you wanted it to be I also like the color of it and I also like the fabric and the feel of it um, it doesn't feel like the most luxurious expensive feel it's got quite like a foamy feel does that make make sense but it's not the worst like I wouldn't wear it and feel like oh this feels horrible like it's not that because I guess it's a cheaper brand it's a bit lighter than what a heavier fleece would be am I even making sense like let me know if I'm making sense it's got like a little fray going on here but I don't really mind little frays as long as the whole piece isn't falling apart like because you can always cut and snip them obviously because it is a cheaper brand they don't always get have time to finish off these like details. Yeah, I really like this piece. And with this, I would just pop on these shorts because I have nothing else to put on with these. It's got very big, deep pockets. I really wanted to try some high-waisted shorts that did not have rips on them. All of the jeans you guys will notice later don't have holes and rips on them. Fashion in England is having this huge moment with everything that has rips and holes in them. And I feel like everything that I'm buying currently just have rips and holes in them. So it's quite Quite refreshing to have all these pieces that don't have rips and holes in. Although ripped jeans come back in fashion and they leave and then they come back in fashion, I feel like jeans stay in fashion and jeans without holes definitely stay in fashion. They're very like safe. I feel like they're safe because a lot of my shorts are always frayed, rugged, bleached, ripped, almost hot pants, but these are not. They're very sensible mum-like shorts and I feel like they would make an outfit look more expensive. Sometimes ripped 
things look cool because they look like you have attitude but sometimes I feel like things that are not ripped and more put together make you look more mature and more nicer I guess because I am becoming 25 soon so I might as well try to act more my age the next piece is this blue hoodie and I absolutely love this hoodie it's so nice I'm I, you know I'm going to be wearing this all of winter as soon as the cold hits again as you can see there's a little bit of fray here but I absolutely love the fact that this jumper has like oh it's almost like a two-in-one it's it's not the thickest jumper but it makes it look like it has a layer inside but it doesn't it's actually just sewn on top and I just think it makes the jumper look a bit more expensive a bit more like retro and it gives it sort of like a vintagey vibe and it also has a logo that no one has ever heard of I also like the fact that these strings are very thick it makes it look expensive I've bought some like hoodies from like cheap cheaper stores and they always have like really thin ass like little strings which make it not look the most nicest I personally feel like thing I absolutely love the fact that it has this at the bottom because it just pulls it all together it just looks so nice it has a little pocket which is quite nice the hood on it is so nice and big so it just looks really nice when it's on and with that piece I would actually wear this skirt with it I think this skirt is just so cute you guys it is just such a nice skirt it's like a black tennis skirt so like do you know how people wear like tennis skirts but it's like the black version of this and I know they had one in white as well but I was like um, I kind of want to get it in black because I think it would be cool to like experiment not that I do not have a lot of skirts because I promise you I have so many skirts but this is a nice piece to add to the collection this looks more like a skirt than the other one the other one has got more of a skirt vibe I feel so free even in a skirt when they're a skirt I can be doing anything and nothing's gonna happen another piece which I have absolutely been loving and wearing it around the house and it just looks so cool so hipster my little hippie me is just so happy with this piece is this shirt so nice because it is so baggy and I, I am a sucker for baggy pieces like just like the biggest baggiest just give it to me like the baddest baggiest bougiest bits <gasps> baggiest baddest bougiest bits yes yes that was really hard to say it's got some fraying on it but it's not to the point where it's all coming apart I, i've been wearing it around the house quite a bit i think it looks so nice on like on top of anything it's not like my perfect type of color that i wouldn't usually go for this is a lounge piece and it, it's not it's not jeans it's definitely not jeans fabric but it's white these trousers it's not jeans it's trousers but it's it's very close to being jeans. It's just really light. I can imagine me wearing this on a safari exploring trip. A little hat, you know, one of those outfits. That's the kind of vibe I get with this. It goes out a bit more than a mum jean and it comes cinches back in, but not too much at the bottom, which I quite like. Um, They also have different colors in these as well. So I think this was only like three or four pounds and it was so cheap. And I thought it was gonna be like really bad quality because it was so cheap. And it came and I put it on and it's not that bad like it genuinely isn't it's not really sheer to the point that you're like oh my god you can see everything you know it has some thickness to it and it's quite nice I don't know I just really like it it has a bit of threads over here but apart from that like I'm not complaining about this at all okay so I found this piece which I could either wear on top of this maybe I'm not saying it's gonna look amazing I'm just saying these are the type of outfits that I kind of put together okay this piece is meant to either be a dress or it's meant to be like just a throw on top I personally think I prefer it more as a dress and it also comes with this to wear around the waist and I don't know how I feel about that personally I, there needs to be more fabric for me to be able to cinch it around me and look expensive because I feel like when I cinch it around me it looks a bit weird so I kind of prefer it just to just to have it buttoned up and just wear it as that and I can see myself wearing this on holiday to to Marrakesh or somewhere that you need to dress a bit more modest. I love everything about Marrakesh and I have never been and that is the saddest thing in the world. When I go there, I will wear this, I promise you. It will wait in my closet till the day I go to Marrakesh. Hopefully, it will come to use one day when this whole pandemic has gone we can go and be free again and live our usual lives that we used to live the next piece here i've got is this beautiful dark blue jeans there's something about me just loves like dark blue jeans no matter how much like light blue jeans always come back in the summer as soon as it hits autumn this is a straight cut jean i absolutely love the fraying of this jeans yeah 
that's all I need to say. Pockets on it are quite little at the back, like they don't, they don't have the biggest pocket like some of these do. This jean was the tightest on me when I last tried it on. This blazer, oh my gosh, this blazer is so beautiful for how cheap it was. It came around like 50 pounds. I'm not mad at that personally because the quality of this blazer is just so nice. I just think it's so well put together and it's quite baggy on me, which I love. Like I love a good boyfriend sort of blazer. I do, I'm not a big tight blazers. I think all most of my blazers that I own are like either blazer dresses or just baggier blazer that I can put a belt around and it just looks so cool. I absolutely love this. I'm a sucker for this and I cannot wait to find a skirt with this patterning or something similar with this color tone and put it together because I love pattern clashing. The next piece that I'm gonna show you is this jeans and I absolutely love these jeans. I cannot speak right now, my cat is trying to come in. I've never had jeans with these sort of detailing on it and I know they're quite like, they have the whole retro vibe. I don't know from what year that these were made popular but they have that vibe and I am just so here for it. It's also got these buttons so if you need to tighten it or loosen it you can adjust the buttons on these it just makes a basic pair of jeans just look more expensive and i'm just so here for this I see myself wearing this with a lot of pieces to be fair because it's just basic black jeans with these beautiful details on it and i think it's been made really well as well okay this was also another piece that i got which was so cheap so cheap i've always wanted to get a long sleeved mesh top and i got this one and this was only three pounds or two pounds i like the way it looks everyone needs a mesh top just to keep around for that one time you might go to that really cool rave just might be feeling a bit gothic you need this okay everyone needs this and also they had loads with different patterns and i just wanted the most basic one put this together with these jeans and this blazer for now remember some most of these outfits i probably won't wear it like that i just wanted to put it into some sort of outfit so you guys can see the next piece that we have is a blazer dress slash shorts i've never owned a blazer short it's just so strange to me this concept so you step into these shorts this is made pretty decently however i feel like the fabric scrumples up quite easy i'm not too keen on the fabric style i hate ironing so anything that's like gets scrumpled up easy i'm just like i'll never wear that again then that's kind of my vibe i get with it unless i have to then i'll iron maybe it has a belt that is made with the same fabric and it's an actual belt that will cinch you in which just looks so cool i can just imagine myself wearing this to an event or something like that where I would just look like a boss like I just came out of the biggest board meeting in the world which I didn't and I have never been to one so these next pieces I really really wanted to try them out I've seen it's a style in Korea and in Asia to wear like flowy dresses with a vest a jumper vest and I really wanted to try it I put this together like this the inside piece came separately that was just meant to be like a summer dress that you can either wear to the beach or just wear it as a summer dress piece i absolutely love this white dress it is so beautiful i love both of the white dresses i got actually like, i love the sleeves on it it gives me such shakespearean hamlet vibes like with the whole big sleeve i also love the ruffling i can see myself wearing this to the beach with a big beach hat that will be me done for the beach i got two vests so this is one of them this is like a gray cool tone vest it's got a little pocket on it which i absolutely love and even get a shirt dress like a big shirt dress and I could wear it with this and I think that would look so cool like and the next piece is this one so as you can see this one doesn't have a pocket it's a cream beige tone this is my favorite color apparently when it comes to decorating my room this has like a really long trail at the back which is quite nice this dress by itself so beautiful this dress I am just loving it so much it has so much flowiness to give love these like ruffles at the end I just love this dress so much and I love white clothing but white dresses something about them not wedding dresses but just dresses that are white that flow I sound like I'm talking about a wedding dress dresses that flow are just like the nicest thing in the world and this just flows so perfectly also I wanted to talk about some accessory pieces I got this bag which is a body bag and it's like a nice cream color which is my favorite color to go to for some reason I didn't want to go for something that was a black again because I have 
have a lot of black body bags, okay? It makes it sound like I've got a body bag, like I'm gonna murder someone and put someone in a body bag. I've got a lot of bags that go on the body. This looks just so cute and I just like it. I don't have anything quite this style. I've realized I like a bag, a body bag. Okay, I'm just gonna say it, like it's affecting me way too much. I like body bags that are like this size because I can fit so much stuff in it. I've got some body bags. I've got a lot of experience with body bags because I kill so many people. I've got loads of body bags. Oh my God, this is killing me. <laughs> I've got loads of body bags that are smaller and I can only fit infants in them and I would like to fit full adults in them, okay? I've got loads of bags. <laughs> I've got loads of bags that are smaller. <laughs> I've got loads of bags that are smaller and I can't fit everything in them because I've got my phone. Sometimes I like to put my camera in here, like a portable camera in here, my lipstick, powder, you know, powder brush. Like a girl's got her stuff that she needs to carry. Cards, cash, key, sunglasses. Well, the one that I have from Pretty Little Things, that's this size I literally carry everywhere it's become my like go-to bag even though it's like has PLT written all over it it's actually my go-to bag and I've worn it so much you need a bag at least this size and it needs to be on your body so you're not carrying the weight on your arms I really like this belt because it's got this chain on it and it's kind of gives it like a e-girl vibe you know it has two holes that go all the way through it and it just gives it such an edgy grungy vibe which I quite like I've never had a belt like this and also another reason why I went for this belt was a lot of belts I need to pierce my own hole because it doesn't fit me it never fits me belts never fit me I don't look like I'm poor and I can't afford a belt that fits me so I have to make my own hole to wear it you know you know I finished speaking about all the outfits that I like and right now I'm speaking about all the accessories and some random stuff that I got and then I'm going to show you two things that I absolutely hate that I got from Yes Dollar Cake this is a scalp massager I kind of wish it was it had a vibration on it so it would vibrate on my head or like did some of those things you can get really cool ones I just got the most basic scalp massager because I want to massage my scalp more that's it i think it was really cheap like a pound or something another thing that i grabbed from the yes style store because it no it is not just fashion it also has normal stuff you can literally buy cushions and stuff on it i swear um but i got this like traveling bag because i am normally always traveling because i'm just that type of girl you know my life is just constantly on the go um unless there's a pandemic. So when the pandemic's over, I am so ready to go on holiday, as you can see from all the clothes that I bought, as well as my packing cubes. I believe they're called packing cubes. They just make your suitcase so neat and put together. I haven't used it yet, but I know for a fact, for someone who travels quite a lot to London and from London, for someone who lives out of a suitcase quite a lot, understands the struggle of things just mixing in together and not being able to find anything. So I'm hoping a little bit of organization will bring me some happiness. And also another good thing about them is they're very light. So I know it's not gonna weigh a ton. Now it's time to speak about things that I just do not like that I got. This dress, I feel like my mum will love this. Maybe I'll give it to her. I don't have an issue with the style of this dress or the print. I have an issue with the fabric and the amount of fabric there is on this dress. It's so slim fitted or they haven't used enough fabric that it makes this dress look cheap because it just doesn't flow. I feel like dresses that are meant to flow and don't flow just look really cheap personally. Um, So when I put this on, I was like, you know, that was my vibe. What is this? And this piece, I don't even know what this is. So this piece is meant to look like this. It looks like this. It's just so flimsy, the fabric. I wish it was like, I don't know. It's like something about this is just so wrong. Just not the biggest fan of this. And I feel like it would break really easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this try and haul. I absolutely love some of these pieces and I'm so grateful that I got it. With 500 pounds, it goes so far. You can literally buy yourself a whole wardrobe from your style and it's crazy. The delivery doesn't take too long. I will leave all my measurements down below so you guys can sort of go off that. I'm normally like a size eight or a six, I've already said that. I feel like like I love these pieces. I absolutely do. And I will leave the link for your style down below so you guys can go check it out. Thank you so much for watching through the end. If you have watched it, it would mean so much to me if you guys left a like on my video because apparently that really helps and I need all your help. Please do leave a comment if you like any pieces in particular or like found me funny. 
Women just not meant to be funny. It's not socially acceptable. Please subscribe and press that bell button because apparently it gives you notifications when I next post, which will be next year because I'm really bad at this. Yeah, like my Instagram is linked below if you guys want to see like more daily content. I also have TikTok, which I'm trying to do, you know? It's social media. Stay blessed, Mass next. It's Masna X, not Mass Next, okay? Someone noticed me at a festival and they called me Mass Next. And I was like, damn, that's what my name sounds like. <laughs>